let's give a look to fixed law and before we even start i just want to remember you that the main goal of this section is to model molecular diffusion molecular diffusion is nothing more than the change of material or mass transfer okay so we're going to relate a change in concentration of species i versus a change in distance so we are talking about more to the profile in distance rather than how it changes with respect to time okay and the very first law was established in a very basic concept isothermal we don't want to have any problem with thermal uh, or let's say heat transfer uh, theory we didn't have any change in pressure or viscosity so this will get rid of the momentum part heat part and this was done for a binary system because as you can imagine we could do this for a pure substance but binary system is the most common uh, case in mass transfer that you will typically see in daily life according to this idea of molecular diffusion the molar flux of a species relative to an observer we already covered that moving with molar average velocity is proportional to the concentration gradient in certain direction okay so let us explain molar flux remember molar flux you have an area and you have a flow of moles in a given time so that's essentially a molar flux now the molar average velocity is more interesting because we know that this area let's say we're talking about a pipe we will have slower flux near the uh, wall rather than in the center which is much faster so the actual value we need is the average of those molar fluxes this small flux versus this greater flux so that's why we talk about molar average velocities and the concentration is the one species or the driving force for mass transfer the equation goes as follows j which you already know what's this essentially the amount of mole per area per time is proportional to the change in concentration which is mole per volume divided by the distance let it be d what else do we have here okay uh you already know guys that proportional constant is just an idea what we need is to get rid of that proportionality and we get a variable in this specific case for fixed law the proportionality constant will be the diffusivity which is also known as diffusivity constant diffus diffusivity or dab uh, here it goes it is essentially read as follows diffusivity of a in b so let it be a oxygen and if b is air in theory someone already measured that oxygen being diffused in air you will find i don't know maybe for one for nitrogen one for argon and so on and the concentration and the distance again typically done in the c axis even though you already know that we have three-dimensional flow this will be c the one which we are used to we have x and we have y so technically speaking we have dc a dy and dc a dx this will be three-dimensional diffusion which of course is not the scope of this course but in theory we have so and as you can imagine the equations will increase in number in order to fully satisfy fixed law in three-dimensional flow rate anyways talking about the specific case of i don't know a simple case we have a here we have b here if we were to measure the flow of a let's go from left to right you can use this expression why do we use a negative sign because we have a drop in concentration meaning that actually if you measure i don't know point a and point b we're talking about high concentration of a we have low concentration of a here and if we were to make a typical delta it will be a smaller number minus a larger number which will always give you a negative sign so that's why we use a negative sign so a negative and negative becomes a positive sign and this is of course just a reference value later on we are going to see that you need to actually know the uh i think it's pretty similar to heat that you know that 
temperature flows from high temperature to low temperature. So if you have something or some equations that don't make sense that you see heat is flowing from low temperature to high temperature, maybe you want to check out your signs. And we will see this later, but for now you can assume that the diffusivity of A in B is pretty similar to that of the diffusivity of B in A. And the assumptions of fixed law or fixed model is, first things first, it's isobaric, so the change in pressure is near to zero. You should not expect large viscosity changes, even though you will have them because concentration is changing. Isothermal, meaning that the change in temperature is also zero. We have it at a fixed temperature. We will assume no chemical reaction. We also assume that the diffusivity constant is well, as the name implies, constants through all the uh, way of diffusion and all the time and does not change with concentration, which of course we're going to see later that that is not always the case. For simplicity, we will assume one dimension, actually the C dimension. We will apply this mostly to dilute solutions because you know dilute solutions are typically ideal and for steady state, meaning that time does not make that much of a sense right now. Okay, guys, so that's fixed law.